Hey guys, it is Bucky, and welcome to another awesome, amazing Objective C tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, you see first off the bat, what I did is I cleared out all my old classes, and I started for uh, with something new. So, here's my main right here, and see what I did is I created a new class rectangle, and I separated the files for my interface and implementation. Um, if you forgot how to separate files, then go ahead and watch tutorial number 23 and I teach you how to separate files but we're going to be building a rectangle class aside from our main method because uh, like I said I want to teach you more about inheritance and this is going to be a little bigger program so um, get everything set up or if you don't want to type it then you can just watch what I do but anyways what we're going to be doing basically is taking this rectangle class and inheriting from it and building on it so something new but like I said, I uh, didn't want to have it all jumbled up in one class. So the first thing that we need to do is go to our interface right here, which is .h, and we need to add some properties or variables, same thing. So what variables or properties does a rectangle have? Well, it has an int width and int height. So those are pretty much the only properties that a rectangle has every consistent rectangle so in order to define our properties remember property remember it's always useful to, to define your properties because then we don't have to build setter and getter methods when we synthesize the methods and this is from a tutorial a long time ago if you remember when you synthesize a method um, what you're pretty much doing is saying I don't want to build the setters and getters I want you to do it for me synthesize it for me so the first thing you need to do is put your property in with and if you don't understand what I just said I'll just put this if you don't understand what I just said then uh, you'll see in a little bit when we actually need to call the methods you'll see what's going on but anyways we're gonna eventually build two synthesize methods setters and getters for each width and height but we need to build a couple more methods so what are some common things that you wanna take and figure out with a rectangle well I know one thing it's uh, the area of it so let's go ahead and build declaration for int area and what else we can figure out the parameter or perimeter what's a parameter oh yeah that probably just confused you int perimeter bam game time and let's go ahead and even though we have a setters and get it I mean setters and getters let's go ahead and build a method to set the width and height all in one method so let's go it's not gonna do anything just gonna be void uh, let's name it set wh and um, let's just go ahead it's gonna take two an int width and it's also going to take int height just like that so this is how you build a method header to pass two variables in separated by colons and ending with a semicolon so let me see this is pretty much all we need for the uh, interface class it's going to have two variables width and height um, we're going to define them and then we're going to build a method to get the area the perimeter and set the width and height all in one shebang. So now if we go over to our implementation, um, again our implementation says pretty much how do we want to use this stuff. So again don't forget to import rectangle.h, that's a necessity. And now instead of writing our setters and getters, all four of them manually, all we have to do is put at, it should pop up, synthesize, just like that with height and check that out with one shebang I'll let, I'll, with one shebang it automatically builds four methods for us so that's why we had to define the properties right here pretty much to say this is what we're going to be building synthesized methods are and if you still don't understand what I'm talking about we're going to use it one last time and I'll clear things up for you so let's go ahead and build the rest of these see what else did we have uh, set width and height copy that baby and now we gotta build the method but 
method bodies for these. So how do we want to do this? Uh, probably the easiest way, width equals w, because remember we pass it in a number that's going to treat it as w, and height, we're going to set this equal to h. So whatever we pass it in is w is going to be set to width, and whatever we pass it in for h is going to be set to height. So now we can use height and width in the rest of our um, methods. So now let me just go grab the, both those methods. Grab the headers and V. So how do we figure out the area of a rectangle? Easy wheezy. Return width times height. And since we already have width and height set, we don't have to worry about passing in any values. And how do we find the perimeter of a rectangle? Easy enough. All we have to do is return take the sum of width plus height, that's two sides, and times it by two to find the perimeter around your whole rectangle. So let me see, I think that is everything we needed right there. Looks pretty good. So in this tutorial what we did is we pretty much separate the two classes. I didn't show you guys how to do that because it would just be a waste of time. Um, what we did is we built the interface for rectangle which our class of rectangle, our objects, is pretty much contain a width and height, and that's all we need to figure out everything else. We can figure out the area and perimeter and set them both with the, just those two variables. So what we did is we defined the variables. We said, all right, we're going to be building these three methods. And then in our implementation, we actually went ahead and built those three methods, and we actually had Objective-C build four methods for us, setters and getters for width and height. So in our next tutorial, we're going to be working in our main method right here. Again, you see, make sure not to delete any of this uh, common housekeeping stuff, or else you're going to have to type it all in again. But that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. I'll post all the source code on my forum. So if you want it, there's a link below. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.